Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and this is tutorial number 44 and in this tutorial we're going to start taking a look at forms and form elements. So just in case uh, you guys don't know, a form is basically an area that we can add in form elements onto our web page that allow us to gain data from the user. So in other words we could add a a name section in where the user could fill in their name and a password section where they could fill in a password etc etc okay so uh, the reason why I left these tutorials until right until the end of the series is because forms actually tie in with JavaScript or <laughs> a PHP or any other kind of scripting language because we can't actually use the data that we get from the user unless we're using a scripting language because HTML by itself doesn't have the ability to handle data but as soon as we use JavaScript or PHP then we're able to uh, handle that data and actually do stuff with it like store it in a database or email that data over to someone or something like that okay so uh, yeah, that was just my introduction to what forms are all about and let's actually um, get started. So the first thing we need to do is add a form onto our web page. And to do that we simply open up a new tag called form and then we can end that off as well. And inside here we'll put the rest of our form elements. Okay, but before we even get started on adding other form elements into this uh, form, I just want to mention to you guys that there are two other attributes that we have to place in the opening tag of this form. Now the first attribute is called action and the second attribute is called method. So these two uh, attributes are required because the first uh, attribute action is basically asking where do you want to send the data from this form where do you want to send that to so in other words you could uh, place in the URL of another um, file hopefully it's a smart file like a PHP file or something uh, that would actually handle the data that is in this form and then the second uh, attribute here is the method and the method is basically asking how do you want to send the data from this form to the action page okay and there are only two different methods that we can use the first one is post which kind of sends the data um, in the background it's nowhere where the user can see it so it's a lot more secure and you're able to send a lot more uh, data or data through to our action page but there is another alternative to that and we could also use get but unfortunately get isn't the most secure method uh, so in other words if I were to uh, run this in Firefox okay get actually sends the data right here on the end of the URL so in other words let's say I filled in my name then we might have something like name is equal to Quinton appearing on the end of the URL. And it's okay to use get in some cases, but in other cases it really isn't recommended. Okay, so um, you'll notice that when you're searching on Google that you might actually see uh, your search words include up in the URL because Google is using get uh, to search for your words or using the get method to actually um, send your search words through to the next search page and uh, like I said this action is basically just where do you want to send the data to uh, so you could specify another file in here like um, index.php or something like that and we would send the data through to that page but right now I haven't actually um, made this page, it doesn't exist, so I'm just going to leave this blank. And what this means when we ever, whenever we leave the action attribute blank is it means that we're going to submit the data back 
to the same page, which means uh, whenever I submit this uh, data, it's going to submit right back onto index.html. And, you know, unfortunately, we don't have any scripting to handle the data. So uh, we're not going to be able to do anything with it. But that's okay, because like I said, this isn't a scripting tutorial. This is an HTML tutorial. So we're just going to take a look at what all the tags do and how we can use them. Okay, so don't forget to come back in the next video where I'm actually going to start talking about all the form elements that we can place inside of this form. And I hope to see you guys then. So as always, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I will see you guys next time.